Hey guys, hope you're having a great day. It's your boy Phil. So today, we are going to have some Filipino street food in front of a shopping mall here in the Philippines. So, what are we waiting for? Let's start the video. Hope you're having a great day guys so today we are in front of walter mart which is like costco or walmart combined with a shopping mall and or strip mall and we are in san jose nueva asia philippines 30 minutes from my hometown to eat some street food so mobile vendors selling their street food are very common in the philippines and you can almost always see someone selling their street food around every street corner especially with places with high foot traffic such as this in front of a shopping mall so this cart has fish balls, squid balls, fried pork livers, fried chicken gizzards, fried chicken intestines, which is what we commonly see when you say street food in the Philippines. So just point to what you want and they'll fry it for you and they'll place it into a plastic cups and you take care of the sauce. First type of sauce we see is the sweet sauce or sarsa. If you want a dipping sauce with more tang, the second type of dipping sauce is vinegar mixed with finely chopped red or white onions and or chopped cucumber and or bird's eye chili. Vinegar is best paired with foods such as fried chicken nuggets, fried chicken intestines, and this fried pork liver. Meanwhile, kikyam, fish balls, squid balls, and chicken balls are best paired with the salsa or the sweet sauce. But again, you can choose either of the two dipping sauce for the street food that you like. First is fried chicken gizzards or probed. These chicken gizzards are cleaned very well, salted, chopped into bite-sized small pieces, breaded, and deep-fried. And it has almost the same taste as the grilled chicken gizzards that you can have in a yakitori restaurant. The fried chicken intestines are prepared the same way, but it has a less chewy texture compared to the fried chicken gizzards. But I find chicken intestines tastier compared to the chicken gizzards. The fried and breaded tofu just tasted like tofu. It's the vinegar or the sarsa sauce that gives it most of its flavor. These are slices of pork liver that are seasoned, breaded, and deep fried. These pieces were still tender and it doesn't have that strong iron taste associated with liver. So these are one of the best pieces on this vendor's cart. And for me, it is best paired with vinegar. Kikyam consists of ground pork and mostly flour mixed with spices, shaped into balls like this and deep fried. This has a similar taste to fish balls and is best paired with sarsa sauce, but you can also have it with vinegar. And as I've said, they can sell almost everything in a food cart or stall. And we are finishing the street food with some refreshing buku juice or coconut juice. So after that street food, me and my brother were still hungry, so we went inside the mall and we are going to have some dumplings or shawmai. So Shawmai House is a well-known franchise brand in the Philippines that serves primarily pork and shrimp shawmai or dumplings. It's 50 pesos or $1 for 4 pieces of dumplings and it is served with their special chili garlic on top that you will mix with soy sauce and season with calamansi. One thing about them is their dumplings are very consistent and they carry the same taste now as I remember them back in high school and college. And it still has that same savory taste of the ground pork meat, pork fat, and ground shrimp. Their chili garlic is not that spicy at all and it has that savory fried garlic flavor. And if you mix it with the soy sauce with a little bit of calamansi or Philippine lemon, this is the perfect seasoning for the shawmai. Afterwards, we go to our next snack, takoyaki. Takoyaki is a ball-shaped Japanese snack made of a wheat flour-based batter and cooked in a special molded pan, which is filled with minced or diced octopus, tempura scraps, usually two to four vegetables, and this can include chopped green and bell peppers, scallions, green onions, with the main vegetable being chopped cabbage. So 
So after adding their ingredients to the batter, they cook this in a special pan forming the ball shape and toast the outside. And gradually as it cooks, they add more batter to round out the shape. It takes about 10 minutes to cook these takoyaki balls. And for each order, they place about 6 to 8 pieces in a box. Served with a side of sweet and savory takoyaki sauce. And these are topped with very fine tuna flakes. And they look like they're actually moving. So this piece has that baby octopus sticking out. What's great about it is it has a crispy toasted exterior and a very soft savory center. And lesson learned again, these things are very hot so be careful. The outside is crispy, very similar to toasted waffles. While the inside tastes like savory pudding because of that octopus, squid, and the vegetables. So this dumplings and takoyaki are definitely great snacks. And we finish off these snacks with some fried rice and soft drinks. And that was a great meal indeed. Thank you for watching this video and I really do hope that you enjoy it. And thank you for your continued support. And as always, like, comment, and subscribe. See you later in the next video guys. Take care.